Hey everybody, it's Merritt from thermal-medics.com doing a quick video. Got an air handler opened up here real quick. I want to talk about the blower motor and the squirrel cage assembly on the indoor uh, side of an air handler. Um, again, I've got power pulled, the disconnect right there. We always do that um, before we start messing around with this sort of stuff. Blower, this is the squirrel cage unit right here. This is the run capacitor right here for the blower motor. Blower motor is actually right around the side. A little tough to see there, but you can see our wires coming in. It does have some speed taps on it. Um, this just has to have three speeds on it and um, schematic for the whole unit inside here, which is really nice. So, hey, what's going on? We, um, the blower motor's not working. We check the run capacitor. We pull power to the unit, which we looked at, and then we want to discharge this run capacitor by touching those two terminals together to discharge the run capacitor. We take the leads off. We can measure it with our uh, multimeter on MFD. Or you might just look at it and see it's bulge or some jelly or goop coming out of it and you know the run cap's bad. Match it up, swap it out, put it in, and um, we attach the lead, you're good to go back in business. What if I need to change the whole blower motor assembly? How do I get to that thing, right? It's way over here on these mounts. Well, this whole thing actually comes out. There's some screws that are up there, and this attaches this whole blower motor assembly to the air handler. So what we're going to do is pull the wires up on top. We're going to label them. We're going to take photos. We're going to do whatever we have to do to make sure we know where those wires went and what they are and how they're gonna go back in. We undo the screws here. We're gonna pull this assembly out and we're gonna change out the motor, swap it back out using, with there's a set screw that this blower motor uh, sets in on in the squirrel cage and uh, reinstall and then slide it back in again and reattach those screws on top. Not real tough, not rocket science, but that's how we actually get to that blower motor and change it out on an air handler. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks again for all the beers you guys can buy me on uh, Thermal Medics. Thermal-medics.com. See ya.